Love makes a woman strong. A woman in love glows. So say the minstrels. Perhaps one could also say that for a woman, pride in the man she follows becomes an affirmation of her own worth. In the year 200 AD, four women took to the battlefield on behalf of the men they loved. A battle as fierce as any fought, but which has never before been brought to the light of history. I will present this magical seal to he who proves himself worthy. Stand by your black ones and overcome my three castles. This land than my beloved. That seal will only be raised in hands than my Jugelians. All of them. First, a little test. An easy one. A wise warrior knows when to avoid battle and alter his path instead. failed to avoid this battle. Thus I have no option but to fight. A man and his wife should advance through life together. in such danger? I pity you.
Now I see why they say you are a dragon in human form. I see you arrived. Then let the next trial begin. Your tests are no match for my superior intellect. Done well. You are ready for the next trial. That is clearly no challenge for your ability, my dear. You are in our way. You will not keep us from the seal. Finished here. Good luck. <laughs> Not bad. Come on, Doc Yao. Let's turn up the heat. Way to go, Lord Show You! Yuying, please be careful. Do not put your life in danger. Doc Yao, we're in over our heads here. Let's get out of here. If you wish to proceed with my trial, we must enter the castle together. It's mine! Mine, mine, mine! Perhaps you'll have a little more fun with this next trial. I know you're on the show. They look so real. You must fight them. Their very existence is an insult. Our fight is not over yet. Your permission, darling. 
Xiao Xiao. All right. to me than any prize. Let's turn back while we still can. This is easy enough for me alone, let alone my dear Zhuge Liang and me. at the sight of my beloved in action. I see that even being caught off guard does little to disturb you. You can call me a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. I didn't realize your husband was the type to hide himself behind you. My word, and I didn't realize you're just as arrogant as that windbag you married. Ah, so you are the wife of this cowardly tactician? Will he hide behind your skirts again today, pretending to strategize? I hear that the Prince of Wei confuses mere tricks with true wisdom. And, judging from the both of you, I can see that they spoke the truth. Silence, you! You cannot speak of my lord that way! Nor can you of mine! Take this! Oh, you take those words back or I'll tear your tongue right out of your throat! I think not. You'll be the one eating your words, you awful witch! <laughs> I salute my beloved's power with the theme of destruction! Whatever pain you caused, Chen Shi, I'll return to you a thousandfold! Ready? 
Shen Shi, do not strain yourself. The time has come to retreat. Need I repeat myself? I won't let you enter alone. You've come a long way. You must share a very strong bond. For your last trial, I shall test your strength with my own hands. Vindicate our honor. We demand another chance. Well done. The best pair has won. The seal is yours. At last, the seal is where it belongs. With you, my dear. Thank you, Yue Ying. I am blessed to have a partner such as you. At last, this seal belongs to my lord, Zhuge Liang, and I have fulfilled my role as the wife of the dragon. To help my husband, to support his strategies. That is my greatest desire and my greatest joy. Together, there is no obstacle that we cannot overcome. A new but this body. 